that, I want to introduce just the general concept of an income tax. The natural type of deduction for an income tax is generally going to be those things that you needed to consume in order to generate the income. Now, that's the general rule we kind of want to keep in mind. And when we think of about, about a business transaction, there's always going to be two sides of the, any business transaction. One's going to be the one getting income, the recipient of the income. The other one's going to have an expense who's paying for the goods and services. So keeping those in mind, then the IRS actually has the leverage within the transaction on the one that's paying for the goods and services on the deduction side of things, because if they want to get a, a tax benefit of having a deduction or expense that they can record, which will lower the taxable income, then the IRS has some pressure on them and saying, well, you need to then give us information such as W-2s, 1099s, and so on, and possibly have withholdings and whatnot paying us directly uh, for the people that you are doing business with. So that's generally how things are set up and how we're often driven when we're doing our taxes by the income tax forms. That's where they're coming from, the W-2 forms, the 1099 forms, and so on. Remembering that the government doesn't just want those forms so that they can provide that to you so that you can self-report. Those forms are also going to the government. So we've got to remember that the government is holding on to these forms as well. That's basically their, their goal. They, they want to get to the point, in essence, or it seems like, where they can basically create the tax return by themselves by having the documentation that they're getting from the payer side of the business transactions. Now that becomes a little bit more difficult to see when you look at non-business kind of deductions, because when we look at like itemized deductions, charitable contributions, and things like that, home mortgage interest and that kind of stuff, those are not natural kind of business deductions or tax deductions that you would expect in an income tax system. You would expect deductions in a business kind of setting where anything that you had to expend in order to generate revenue would be a natural income tax deduction. Many of the other deductions, like charitable deductions, for example, the government is trying to incentivize us to behave in a certain way, and they're using the tax code to do that. Deductions for like saving for retirement, IRA deductions, 401k plans. Again, those are weird kind of deductions where the, where the government is trying to manipulate our behavior through incentives through the tax code. So it's good to have this general understanding of how things are going to basically be working as we start going through these line items and thinking about where these forms are coming from, like the W-2s and the 1099s.